Hey everybody! Welcome to another Cricut Craft tutorial. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon because that will alert you to when I post a new video. Today I want to show you guys how to use a really fun product and it's by Caesar and it is their Metal HTV. We did this pretty tote in it and I don't know how well you guys can see but hopefully you can see it's really shiny, it's very very pretty. What I like about this is that it's very mirror finish when you receive it on its carrier sheet but when you press it it looks more like one of the foils. It's very very easy to work with and easy to weed. Let's go over to Design Space so I can show you how we're going to design our bag and we're going to cut out our HTV. We're just going to use a design from Design Space Access. All I did was search cats and found this cats, books, and coffee. I did change the hearts that they had because I wanted my hearts to cut all in one line in order to save some HTV. And I didn't really like the shape of their hearts, so I just removed them and replaced them with a heart shape that I prefer. And then I just changed up the colors so that I could see that it would look right with the colors that we're going to use. So the kitty's gonna be a rose gold, the words are silver, and then these are the tiger lily color in the Caesar metal. But I wanted to start you here so that I could show you guys how to change your settings for your maker, and then I'll explain to you too how to change your settings for your explore. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and um, I already cut my hearts because I do always recommend doing a test cut, but I already cut my hearts. So I'm just going to remove them by just clicking on this little eyeball here and that'll hide them so we don't cut those again. Again, always do a test cut. I just cut the hearts because I figured that was an easy one, but you can cut a circle or a square or whatever you want just in a little corner of your HTV. Now always remember to mirror your design on both of your mats. And when we click continue, it's going to load our machine. And for the maker, I'll show you guys how to do that because this is what's connected here. And then I'm going to explain to you how to do your um, explore. So for your maker, you're going to select iron on and you're going to select more pressure. On the explore, you're going to go to your dial and turn it to iron on plus. Super easy to do, just turn it on to the one click past iron on, and that should cut it just fine. It won't cut through the carrier sheet. So let's go over to the machine and I'll show you guys how to load it. We're ready to peel the last of our carrier sheets. Again, I've let it cool for a couple of minutes. It really doesn't take very long, but I do recommend taking it off of your press to get it to fully cool. So you can just go ahead and peel it once it's nice and cold. And again, this I like a lot better than the foil because if you have to change your grip on your carrier sheets, it's not a big deal. Um, I do want to tell you, I do save my larger pieces of my carrier sheet. So I saved the large piece from this because it's great if you um, need it for some of the printable HTV or some of the patterned HTV. It's really nice to have those little extra pieces. But these small ones, I don't save them. I just toss them but I do save the larger ones. So here is our finished product. Guys, this is so pretty. I don't know how well you guys can see this. Oh yeah, there we go. Look at how shiny and pretty this is, but again, it's not mirrored, it's more like a foil. I love the tiger lily, it's so pretty in pink. This bag came out adorable, and I actually really prefer the cat down here, to be honest. I think it looks a little bit nicer than up here, and I like it spread out. It's nice, it's got a good feel and a good texture to it. This would be wonderful on t-shirts, on tote bags, lots of options with this uh, Caesar metal. Again, you want to press it at 305 for anywhere from 10 to 15 seconds with a medium pressure. Always make sure you mirror your image and again, shiny side down, but again, double check when you get to that little corner. I will say this is a product that you cannot remove with the VLR, which is the vinyl remover um, liquid. It is a really harsh product, so you cannot remove it. So if you mess it up, I don't know how you could take it off. You could probably try heating it from the back, but I'm not sure that that would work. But the VLR will not work on this. So you just want to triple and you know quadruple check your work with the uh, Caesar Metals. Again, it has a really nice texture. I was, I did it on a tote. I was wondering how it would feel on a t-shirt, but I really think it's nice and pliable. Like you can see, it's not, you know, it doesn't feel crinkly, which I really like. 
um, I think that's an important thing to know about some of these HTVs because some of them feel really thick and heavy and I don't like that especially if it's going on like the chest of a shirt like the glitter feels sometimes a little heavy on the chest of a shirt but I think this is really nice it's very pliable if you guys have any questions please let me know in the comments down below Again, this is from 651vinyl.com. I will link it below so you guys can get right to the product page for this because it's really, really pretty. And I will also link below where I got my tote bags. These are Og Bunny brand. I got them from Amazon. But if you guys are looking for any tutorials, please let me know in the comments down below. I make these because you guys request them. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos all the time. Hit the bell icon because that will alert you to when I post a new video. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and happy crafting. We always say put your shiny side down on your HTV, but it's really hard to tell when you're using the silver color of this. So I just want to show you a quick way to check which side you're going to put down. You just take your pin pen, um, which is from 651 vinyl, and you click, you just kind of put it into one of the corners and you peel it back a little bit. And you just do one of the top corners. It's never going to cut this corner. But once you do that, it'll show you which side your HTV is on, which is this side, and then which side your carrier sheet is on. It's a little more difficult to tell on the color silver versus um, the other colors, the gold, the bronze, and the tiger lily, because the bronze is bronze on one side and silver on the other, but the silver is very, very difficult to tell. So you'll want to check that before you load it. So you want to put carrier sheet side down. I'd love to say shiny side, and in real life, you can tell the difference a little bit easier but it can still be a little difficult, so I just wanted to show you guys that quick little tip to find the right direction. Now this stuff is pretty thick feeling. I really like the feel of it, and it is pretty easy to work with. Um, I don't typically cut my sheets down. I'll just trim out what I don't use. So we'll go ahead and load our design in. Again, make sure you have mirrored it. Load your um, machine. It's gonna be iron-on plus or iron-on with more pressure. You can go ahead and click the go. We're going to let this cut, and while that's cutting, I'll show you if you guys can see these. These are the hearts we cut out. You can see they are cut through. This is on Tiger Lily, and you can see the back. They are cut through on that as well. These are going to weed really, really nice. I already checked it because, again, this is my test cut, so I did check the weeding, and it, it is really seems very easy to weed. I peeled off right here, and you can see how easy this is going to be. We'll get everything weeded, so you guys can watch me do that. We're going to use our pin pen. This is really great for the small pieces, things like that, but this is just a pin pen. I don't know if you guys can see the tip. Let's see if I can get it to focus for you guys. Of course it won't. But it's got just a little, like, needly tip on it. It's really nice. I kind of prefer it to the hook tool. It just It's a little bit easier to use. But there is a bit of a technique to it, so you'll want to practice a little bit before you really start using it. So I'm going to let this finish cutting out um, all of our design, and when we come back, I'll show you guys it being weeded. So before I start weeding, I just want to give you guys just a quick tip here. Um, what I do is I will cut really close to my design, and you'll see I kind of cut a little hole over here because that was enough HTV for me to use for something else. And I'm sorry this is super shiny, but it's really cool when you see it all done. So here's our bronze kitty. It's a little bit easier to see where the cutouts are on bronze kitty. And then this is the front of the silver. I love how easy this is to see where it has cut. This is such a nice, easy weed. So let's get this weeded, and then we can work on getting it applied. The first thing that I want to do is make sure that I press out the wrinkles that are in my bag because it has been stored for a while. So I'm just going to take my heat press and slide it over this and I know it's not fully heated yet which is fine. I'm just going to press out the wrinkles because you do want to make sure that you're doing this on a pretty nice even not wrinkly surface and we will pre-press this as well but I just wanted to make sure that we had a nice flat surface to work with. So when doing this, you want to make sure that the um, area behind the bag as well, so the second part of your bag, the back if you will, is um, nice and flat. I was kind of having a little issue getting it flat and then you just want to make sure all of your seaming um, is out of the way so that you can have it nice and flat as well. Like I said, I know this isn't up to temp yet, but I just wanted to get this pressed and show you guys that you do want to make sure that you have a like as unwrinkled surface as possible. 
So you can see I got most of the wrinkles out and then this little bit that's still here won't interfere with our design. So we're gonna lay our bag down and I like to try to um, lay it down so that I can still see this little part but I wanna make sure that it's off of my plate because I'm gonna use that as our centering line. And then I'll usually fold my bag over the sides just to see that it's pretty evenly um, spaced and just to try to keep it pretty straight. Now I do have a smaller press. This one's only like a nine by 12, so it is a little bit small. Um, I would love to upgrade. That is on my list of wishes is to upgrade my um, press size. But for now, this one works just fine. So we are up to temp. Let me go grab the transfers and I'll show you guys how to do it. So the first thing that we want to do is preheat our surface. So we're gonna again, take our Teflon sheet and I'm gonna slide her in there if I can get it to stop wiggling on me. And I just do that just in case there's anything on my press. I don't wanna get it on the bag. So we're just gonna preheat it. You only need to preheat it for just a few seconds. We'll go ahead and release that. And you're doing this on a medium pressure with a 305 temp. This is um, a pretty easy project to do and I just always check mine because we have dogs and cats. So I do always check to make sure there's no hairs under here. And so being that this is on a tote, it's gonna be a little difficult to um, get it completely straight, but we will do our best. Now I do know it's straight up and down and I know that it's pretty even on the um, actual press itself so I can use the plate to sort of get it as even as possible. Now I may need to press this a little bit on these edges so what I'm going to do is pull this up a little bit because I'm going to need to press the top because it's a little bit off. Um, it's just a little too big for my press. So take your Teflon sheet, place it over your design, make sure your design is under the plate and we're gonna again do a medium pressure for anywhere from 10 to 15 seconds. I have mine set to 12. So we'll go ahead and let the timer count us down. And I know you guys can't really see the timer, so let me see if I can get you guys moved up a little bit. So maybe you can see that a little better. I just wanna make sure you guys got a good view of that. But timer's gonna beep. I'm gonna release our pressure. Press the down arrow just so that it will stop beeping at us. This is a full cold peel, but remember, I still have to get this top part. So I'm gonna pull the bag down and hopefully we can get that top part. And actually, now that I think about it, I'm gonna have to just do it right here at the very top, top because I don't wanna get these seams in here. So we're gonna just kind of wiggle it around and get the top of it. And so we're gonna press it one more time. And this time I'm gonna pull this out, the actual plate, we're gonna pull it out a bit. And that way, it's not gonna have to press the whole thing again. And we'll just do that 12 seconds again. This is why I would like to get a larger press because of items like this, where it's definitely way too big. And we'll just go ahead and release the pressure. And we're gonna let this go over here. Now what I do is I'm actually gonna remove this off of the press completely so that it will cool a little bit faster because we do um, cold peel this. You don't wanna peel it at all if it's even remotely warm. And I don't know if you guys can see it right now because of the shiny carrier sheet, but it, you know how it was super mirror and like super mirrored finish? And I know I'm gonna talk about this, I, I've already talked about this in the beginning of the video, but you'll see that it's more of a foil when you get it cold. So let's, we're just gonna let it cool down and all I'm doing is just kind of moving some air around it. You can use another piece of fabric, but this is a cold peel, so do not peel it until it is fully cold. You don't want to mess it up, so we're gonna let that sit for a couple of minutes. We'll come back and then we can st start doing the rest of our layers. It only took about two minutes to cool the bag down, so we're just gonna go ahead and peel. And you're just gonna take your carrier sheet and peel it right on off. Now what I like about this versus the foil, and I do like the foils as well, is that with the foil you kind of, you need to just rip it off like a band-aid. With this, if you you know need to re-grip or anything, you can easily do that, and you're still getting a foil look, but you're not having to rip it off like a band-aid. These bigger ones, I have a bit of a tough time sometimes peeling them off. And now I will say, I wish I would have put this down a little bit further on the bag, so I may actually move where the cat is. And that's what I like about crafting, you guys. If you have done something and you're like, ah, I don't really like that, you can go back in and kind of play with it. So the cat is technically in the design, 
supposed to go up here, but I don't know if I like that. I think I want them down here just to kind of even out the design a little bit. So that's what we're going to do. Let's get the plate out of the way. And then we'll place the hearts as well because we can pretty much do the hearts and the kitty cat at the same time. So I'm going to move this down and we're going to make sure that that back is smooth, which it's not. Like I said, this is not always, and you can turn the bag this way if it's, it's a little bit easier this way for me. So I'm not trying to play with that plate because that plate is hot and I don't want to burn my hand. So what I do is I'll stick my hand inside of my bag and I just get all my wrinkles out that way on the back as best I can. Of course, it's going to fight me on this because it wants to stick to the rubber back that's on here. But we'll just, we're just gonna get it nice and smooth. Okay, I think we are good. Oops, nope, there's a big wrinkle down here. So this is not always the easiest part of this, but it is very important that you get it nice and flat. And this part doesn't matter if you're even because you're gonna just place the cat and the hearts at this point. So you can just, Figure out where you want them. And if you want, you can like trim off some more of your carrier sheet. But I'm just going to place him down. And then I'm just going to figure out where I want my hearts. Like I said, I'm going to try to even out my design a little bit. Because I definitely placed it way too low. And that's okay. It happens. No big deal. So you can easily even it out just by figuring out where you want to place things. And we're just going to make sure everything is on the plate. And I have one last teeny tiny little heart that we can put somewhere. And I think we'll put that one right here. So now that we've kind of evened our design out, we're going to go ahead and place our carrier sheet or our, our Teflon sheet over, slide our plate back in, and we're going to do another, I'm going to just make sure everything's covered. I'm going to do another 12 to 13, 14 seconds on this one. So you're just, again, going to let it do that. You're going to let it cool peel. I'll move you guys back up a little bit. It's a little difficult. I want to make sure you guys can see everything that we're doing. So I'm going to let this one go just a hair longer of the beeping. So put it about 15 seconds and we'll go ahead and remove this. And I'm going to actually just take this whole thing over. I'm going to turn my heat press off. Always turn your press off when you are done with it. And we're going to move this over to the white table so that it can cool over there and we'll peel it over there. We're ready to peel the last of our carrier sheets. Again, I've let it cool for a couple of minutes. It really doesn't take very long, but I do recommend taking it off of your press to get it to fully cool. So you can just go ahead and peel it once it's nice and cold. And again, this I like a lot better than the foil because if you have to change your grip on your carrier sheets, it's not a big deal. Um, I do want to tell you, I do save my larger pieces of my carrier sheet. So I saved the large piece from this because it's great if you um, need it for some of the printable HTV or some of the patterned HTV. It's really nice to have those little extra pieces. But these small ones, I don't save them. I just toss them. But I do save the larger ones. So here is our finished product. Guys, this is so pretty. I don't know how well you guys can see this. Oh, yeah, there we go. Look at how shiny and pretty this is. But again, it's not mirrored. It's more like a foil. I love the tiger lily. It's so pretty and pink. This bag came out adorable. And I actually really prefer the cat down here, to be honest. I think it looks a little bit nicer than up here. And I like it spread out. It's nice. It's got a good feel and a good texture to it. This would be wonderful on t-shirts, on tote bags, lots of options with this uh, Caesar metal. Again, you want to press it at 305 for anywhere from 10 to 15 seconds with a medium pressure. Always make sure you mirror your image and again, shiny side down, but again, double check when you get to that little corner. I will say this is a product that you cannot remove with the VLR, which is the vinyl remover um, liquid. It is a really harsh product, so you cannot remove it. So if you mess it up, I don't know how you could take it off. You could probably try heating it from the back, but I'm not sure that that would work. But the VLR will not work on this. So you just want to triple and you know quadruple check your work with the uh, Caesar Metals. Again, it has a really nice texture. I was I did it on a tote. I was wondering how it would feel on a t-shirt, but I really think it's nice and pliable. Like you can see, it's not, you know, it doesn't feel crinkly, which I really like. Um, I think that's an important thing to know about some of these HTVs because some of them feel really thick and heavy. 
and I don't like that, especially if it's going on like the chest of a shirt. Like the glitter feels sometimes a little heavy on the chest of a shirt, but I think this is really nice. It's very pliable. If you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comments down below. Again, this is from 651vinyl.com. I will link it below so you guys can get right to the product page for this because it's really, really pretty. And I will also link below where I got my tote bags. These are Og Bunny brand. I got them from Amazon. But if you guys are looking for any tutorials, please let me know in the comments down below. I make these because you guys request them. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos all the time. Hit the bell icon because that will alert you to when I post a new video. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and happy crafting.